What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you how I stay productive and the tool that helps me do so. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now, like I said in this video, I'm going to share with you a tool that I use every single day, which helps me stay productive in my business. Now, what I'm going to do is just go over this tool. I'm going to share with you how I use it in my own business. Then nearer the end of the video, I'm going to share with you something cool that they do at the end of the year, and that is a year in review. And now I have three to compare. So let's go ahead and dive straight into the video. Now, what is this website? This is Todoist. This is a great Chrome extension. They have a Chrome extension. They also have an app. You can sync it all up so you can get all the data from here in your browser onto your phone, which is very, very good. But all this essentially is, is a to-do list. That's it. A to-do list to help you in your business. They have lots of cool features, ones that I don't actually use myself. I just use the bare minimum. But what this is, is just a to-do list. So any tasks that you have in your business, in your day-to-day -day life, in your personal, in your business, or any task that you have, you can input that into Todoist. And then it's going to tell you each and every day your tasks and you have the option to tick them off. So before we get into this, if we click on my tasks, we can see a few here. Once I've done, I'd go in, tick it off. And that's how I know that I'm getting stuff done within my business. Now, let's just go over the website a little bit so you can get a feel for this. Then I'm going to share with you all my tasks that are in my business and show you how I how I have that structured and then we're going to take a look at my year in review for 2021 and then potentially my year in review for 2020. So let's go ahead and take a look through this. From overwhelmed to on top of it, Todoist gives you the confidence that everything's organized and accounted for so you can make progress on the things that are important to you. So again, this is just a to-do list. You can put in anything that you need to do for the day. There's lots of filters that you can add and lots of cool stuff, but this is just going to really help you move forward in your business. If you don't have a to-do list and you leave everything to chance and just work on some area of your business whenever you feel like it, that's not really a business, that's a hobby. And when you treat your business like a hobby, you will only get hobby results. If you start treating your business like a business, you will get a lot better results. So with me personally, I have lots of to-dos every single day, and then I go in, tick them off, and I know that that's going to help me move my business forward if I stick to those tasks. Now, if we scroll down, we can add a quick add, recurring due dates. So if there's something that you do each and every month on a certain day, a certain date, you can add that and then it's going to give you the reminder and show you that task on that date. So that's very cool as well. If we keep scrolling down, we can see Focus your energy on the right things. So to do is surfaces the right tasks on the right times so you always know what to focus on. Again, this is very, very important because if you don't know what you're going to be doing each and every day within your business, how do you expect to run a business? Todoist is just a great tool to help you with this. And one thing I didn't mention is that it's completely free. I use the free one. You can use the paid because it has a lot more features. But over the last three years, all I have done is use the free version. Now, we can set priority levels as you're going to see in a second as well. Favorites, reminders. Oh, the reminders on the pro plan, so we can't actually use that. But you get an idea for it. This is a to-do list in digital form. Now, come through, check out the website. I will link it down in the description below so you can come through and check it out because it's just such a great tool. Now, if we go here, we can check out the pricing. 
Find the plan that's right for you. Start for free or as low as $3 per month. So with Todoist, if we scroll down a little bit more, you can use the free version. That's all that I have used throughout this past three years. But what I have started doing is started watching a few YouTube videos all about how to do or how to use Todoist properly because they have really great features. So somewhere down the line, I am probably going to pay for the pro version, but right now I just use the free because it has everything that I need. We can have five active projects. I only have two, five collaborators per project, five megabyte file uploads, three filters, and one week activity history. So for me, this is perfect. This is all that I need, and this is why I only use the free version. Now, if I click on my Chrome extension up here, it's going to tell me everything that I need to do. Now, we can click on the three lines up here. We can check out Inbox, Today, Upcoming, Filters and Labels. I like keeping everything on Today. That way I can see exactly what I need to do. So for Today, I need to create a video and email for SP, that's Stacking Profit, that's this video. So once I've recorded the video, edited the video, uploaded it, made the thumbnail and all of that, once that's live and ready, I can then tick this off. Same with this, create PB email, that's Paddy's Brain email, and Facebook post, that's something that I need to do. And then I also need to create stackers in a circle Facebook post as well. So once I've completed them, I'll come in and tick them off. Now, if we go to up and coming, we can see all of the tasks that I need to do. We can also go to filters and labels. That's something that I have not used very often, which I want to start using more of. But then I have two projects, my work, which is all just here. Any task that I need to do within my business, this is where I input it. So if we go down to the bottom, I can add a task. So this might be your task that you have to do every Wednesday. So we could put, just put this task has to be done on. Then if we put every Wednesday, like so, it's going to do that recurring. So every Wednesday, I might have to do research for low content book publishing. So that's what I could put here. Then I could change the work to personal or inbox. This is going to be a work task. So I'd keep it on task or work. And then we have no labels because I haven't used them. But then I set the priority. So if, is this a top priority, second priority or third priority? Depending on how important that task is, would depend on which priority you want to tick. Now, creating interiors or doing research for low content book publishing is very important. So I'd stick that to priority ROM, and then I'd click enter or click add task, and then that task's done. If there was a task that I needed to do today, I'll just type in that task, and then I'd click schedule for today, and then I'd just click add task. Then once I've done it, I'd come in and tick it off like so. Let's undo that because I don't want my numbers a little bit scored. Let's delete that as well. But you get the idea. This is what helps me stay productive and actually get stuff done in my business. And as we can see, I have three tasks here today. And then once those tasks are done, that's my business tasks done for the day. Now, as I said, we can use this for business and for personal. So right here is all my work stuff. I normally keep that on today, like so. But then if we go down here, I have another project, which is just personal. And then any personal stuff that I need to do, I will add that here in to-do list or to-do ist, and then it's going to come up here in today's tasks. So again, this is just an amazing tool that really helps me stay productive and get stuff done. And a cool feature that they actually have is a year in review. So what they went ahead and done is gave me my year in review for 2021. I actually have mine for 2021. I have it for 2020. And I also have it for 2019, as we can see just here. Now, if we go over to my year in review for 2021, we can take a look and see just how many tasks that I did each and every day. So if we scroll down to roundabout here, we can see 
the number of tasks you completed during the year. In 2021, I completed 3,063 tasks within my business, which is pretty cool. I love seeing data like this. Then, if we scroll down some more, we can see that's an average of around 8 tasks per day, 50 tasks, uh, 57 tasks per week, with around 250 tasks per month. Now, 2021, the results of using Todoist was very similar to 2020, as you're going to see in a second. Now, if we keep scrolling down, we can see my most active month was March, where I did 296 tasks. If we scroll down some more, Fridays seem to be my best days, where I actually got most tasks done, with an average of 529 tasks done on Fridays last year. That's insane. Then, if we keep scrolling through, my energy often peaked at 8am. I get up fairly early. It can be anywhere from 5 to half 7 in the morning. Now, because I get up early, this is when I tend to do most of my work. I'm most productive in the mornings when it comes to my business. And seeing this, this is even telling me that as well, because my energy often peaked at 8am. So it was the time of day that I completed the most tasks, early in the morning. See, I prefer working early in the morning or late in the evening, but you might be slightly different. Now, if we keep scrolling through... This is weird because you were active on 364 days. I'm pretty sure I was active and did work on every single day last year. So I'm missing one day and I'm not too sure why. So let's carry on having a look. My most active day of the year was on October 1st where I did 17 tasks. Then if we keep scrolling down. I postponed the most tasks on Wednesday at 8 a.m. So when it comes to doing tasks in your Todoist app, if you don't do that task, you can just postpone it. So right here we can do postpone till Monday, February the 7th. So that's what it means when I when it says postponed. So I postponed most of my tasks on Wednesday at 8 a.m. Then my longest daily streak was 163 days, where I completed at least five tasks, and that was from the 2nd of January to the 13th of June. Then, if we keep scrolling down, there's just a few more bits. My longest weekly streak was 51 weeks, where I completed the goal of 30 tasks a week, which is insane. And then, if we look here, I get a bunch of karma points. So right here, oh, look at that. I'm in the top 2% of Todoists. So all of my efforts have put me in the top 50,000 users of Todoist in 2021. And considering I don't even use the app properly, I think that's pretty cool. But that's the year in review. I really like this feature. I really love how they give you this year in review so you can see all your tasks when you are most active and all of that cool stuff. And they do this every year. So if you sign up completely for free, start doing Todoist, you will also get this review at the end of the year. Now let's have a quick look at my previous years just here because I have three years in review now. I've been using this since 2019. So if we scroll to here, we can see in 2019, I did 1,720 tasks. If we go to 2020 and scroll down to here, we can see that I did 3,300 tasks. So in 2019, I was just starting to use this app, Todoist, and I didn't really have that many tasks but we can still see that I was very, very consistent. Then in 2020 is when I started using it properly. So 2020, I did nine tasks per day, 62 tasks per week, and 275 tasks per month. If we keep scrolling down, we can see all of the data for 2020. But 2021 was very similar. I did a lot of the same stuff in 2021 as I did in 2020. So 2021, I did 3,000 tasks, but again in 2020, 
I did 3,300. So I actually did a lot more in 2020 than I did in 2021. But again, I would never have known any of this unless I had this app, because this just really helps me stay on point and get things done. So come through, check it out, sign up, and just start being more productive. Now, if we take a look through this, 50% or 51% of my tasks were top priority in 2020. If we look down here, my most productive month was August. I accomplished the most on Thursdays in 2020. My, producti no, my productivity, there we go, most often peaked at 8 a.m. again. So that's been the same for around about two years. If we go back to here, let's try and find this one just here. Here we go. My energy often peaked at 8 a.m. So that's been the same for two years. But again, I wouldn't have known any of this unless I had Todoist. So again, come through, check it out. There will be a link down in the description below so you can come through and check it out. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.